Hello. How are you, everyone? Hello. How are you, Claudia? Fine. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. How are you, Karina? I'm fine. Excellent. Very good. Yes, you look perfect. <laughs> okay, let's see. We have Marvin. Hello, Marvin. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. I'm excited for today's class. Let me see. We also have Noemi. How are you, Noemi? Hi, Miss. I'm fine, thank you. And you? Very good. I'm great. I'm great, thanks God. We're still alive and we have help. <laughs> it's good. Yes, yes, indeed. Let me see. Hello, Rene Vizcarra. Hello, Crisia. Hello. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How about you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. Okay, you're welcome. Welcome, Fabiola. Hi, teacher. I'm fine. And you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. I'm great. Very good. Let me see. Who else do we have? Oh, we have Florence. Welcome, Florence. Mm -mm, I, don't, I can't hear you. No. Am I the only one who has that problem or are you listening to Florence? No, I think you have problems with the audio or maybe yeah. the mic. Uh, hi. Yay, hi, welcome. <laughs> I'm fine. And you? I'm great. I'm perfect. <laughs> Thanks for asking. Let's see. Who else do we have in here? Ah, Diane. Welcome, Diane. Hi. All good, teacher. And you? I'm, I'm good, too. Thanks for asking. <laughs> I like your, your look. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I'm trying your looks. <laughs> thank you. Let me see, Jocelyn Rodriguez, how are you? Uh huh. I don't know if your microphone is not working, Jocelyn, maybe, because I don't, I can't hear you. I see you have your microphone open, but I can't hear you. Hi, teacher. Hi, there you are. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. Perfect. Excellent. Very good. Jose Rodrigo, how are you? Hmm, I see like we have new people in here. Walter, how are you, Walter? Very good, teacher. Thank you. And you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. Let me see. We have Sarseño Raul. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I'm excellent. Excellent. Very good. That's great. That's the attitude. Let me see, Fatima, Fatima Rivas, how are you? Hi, good evening, everyone. I'm fine, thanks. Excellent, very good, that's the mood. Let me see, Rafael, how are you, Rafael? Hi, thank you, good evening, and you? 
I'm great. Thanks for asking. I'm just, let me see. I'm going to look for the PPT right now because I need to present the PPT. Let me see. Okay, now listen everyone. I'm noticing that some of you don't have the camera open. So I need you, if you can, please open your camera so that we can have eye contact or we can feel better if we see each other, right? So that doesn't look like I'm talking alone, <laughs> okay? So it's good for the teacher and it's good for, and it's good for the student. So let me share my screen. And there you have it. So we have, we're in the same section now. Huh? Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? I fine. Excellent, very good. That's great. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> okay, now let me see. We have, oh, let me see. Cesar, hello, Cesar, how are you? Your microphone? I can't hear you. <laughs> Uh -huh, there you have. Hello. Hello. How are you, Cesar? Fun. Thanks. Ready for the class. Very good. That's the rhythm. That's the attitude. Let me see if we have somebody else new. Because I saw someone. I think that Jose Rodriguez is new, right? <laughs> Let me see. Welcome, Milagro Mira. How are you? Hi, Milagrito. How are you? Hi, teacher. Very good. Herson, Amaya, how are you? How was your day? Hey, miss. Um, my day is a... Today is a largest day. Really? It's yes. the longest day that you have in the week. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, remember that for, as we are in the middle of the week, many people feels like it's the longest day that we have in the week. So welcome Luis Antonio. Hello there. Hello, hello. Hello, how are you? Fine, teacher. Excellent, very good. Okay, everyone. Is, I want to just, huh? It's Luis Alonso, teacher. Luis Alonso. Uh, what did I say? Que dije yo? <laughs> Luis Antonio. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. Llevamos como cinco clases y todavía no me aprendo sus nombres. I'm sorry. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, but it's good. At least you have three names. From now on, you have three names. Okay, now let's move on everyone. We are in section two. Now listen, before starting with the content, I need to tell you something. And I believe that you already know what is, what do I have for you today in class, right? So please practice on the platform. Today I received some names from people who's not practicing in the platform and I need you to practice. I have some students that they already finished with the five sections. So please hurry up. Remember that you can advance as much as you can, as much as you want, okay? It's not prohibitive anything. You can advance, it's, it's good if you do that, okay? It's perfect if you do that. So keep an eye on, please. Okay, so we have, this is today's date. Today is Wednesday, July 21, 2021, class number five. And now let's check something that we saw yesterday. So we have the friendly question. What do you remember from the previous class? 
Let's see. Number one, let me check. Florence, read the question number one, please. Just read it. Mission that WH question structure. Mm -hmm. Excellent, thank you. Now let's see, choose somebody, Florence, to answer that question. <laughs> choose anyone. Armando Bolaños. Okay, Armando. What's the WH? Questions structure. Armando. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Somebody who would like to tell me the structure we said yesterday. Me, teacher. Okay, who is me? I don't see you. Ah, oh, there you are, Fabiola. Fabiola. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. W H question plus bear to be plus uh, personal pronouns uh, plus complex. Bravo, that's great. Very good. So that's amazing. Very good. Thank you. What about question number two? Let me see. Listen, Velasco, read question number two, please. Just read. Don't answer. Just read. To mention a pleasant three WH words. Excellent, very good. Choose somebody from your class to answer that question. Um, let me see. Why? Noemi Yesenia. Uh -huh. Excellent. Very good. Cool. Repeat again, Noemi. What, where, who, Excellent. Where. Very good. There you are. Excellent, Noemi. So there you have it, everyone. That's a recap from what we saw yesterday. Now, let's see. Let's practice with, with this. We use do. I don't know if you remember, but yesterday we saw that we can do with certainly subject pronouns, right? Specific subject pronouns, for example, I, you, we, they. But if we have third person singular, we use does for he, she, it. Let me see. Um, I'm going to ask. Marvin, read the structure, please. The structure is we H plus aus, auxiliary plus subject plus bear and base form plus complement plus sign. Plus interrogative. Interrogative. Excellent, very good. Or question mark. You can say either question mark or interrogative. Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good. Let's see, Cesar, what are the auxiliaries in this case? Auxiliary is have, do, go. Ah, in this case, which ones do I have? I only have two auxiliaries in this case. Do and that. In this moment, is to the do it does. Mm, uh -huh, exactly. I remember. Very good. Only those. Those are the only two that we have right now in this instructor. Very good. And then we have the subjects. Okay. It could be either singular or plural. And then we have the verb in base form, which it means any verb, right? And let me see. And we have the complement. Anything else that you would like to add to the sentence? Now, yesterday I told you to create one question using do or does. And something that I want you to remember is that when we use does, the verb in base form, you won't change it. Por eso se queda como base form. You won't add S 
or anything else. Just when we are using the auxiliaries. Okay? So let's see. Let's go to the practice part. So yesterday, I was telling you that this is my example, right? So what do you do on your free time? If you notice, free states in its normal way, right? It doesn't change because I have my auxiliary. Sorry, do. It doesn't change because I have my auxiliary in here. Um, you please close your microphone. Let me see. Somebody has the microphone open and I can hear everything. Okay, now it's closed. Excellent, very good. So let's continue, class. Now listen, I'm assuming that you create yesterday your question, right? Am I right or am I wrong? Did you create your question? You right. Yeah, right. There you are, very good. Let's see, Cesar, do you have a question or you would like to start? My question. Uh -huh. What time do you wake up in the morning? Okay, very good. That's that's a good one with WH. Uh -huh. What do you, what time do you get up? What time do you wake up in the morning? Okay, excellent. Yeah, you're right. Very good. It's okay. What about another one? Now listen. Let's check this, Cesar. Look at the structure. We have WH, what? Then we have the auxiliary. But you have something before the auxiliary in your sentence. You have a time expression, which is time. Okay, so let's check your, your sentence. You have to follow this structure. WH plus auxiliary. Then the subject. Then the base form and then the complement. Let's see, Rafael, tell me your sentence. Where do you work? Mm -hmm. There you have it, simple as that. Very good, where do you work? Very good. Let's see, Noemi, your sentence, your question. What do you wear on Christmas? What do you wear on Christmas? Ah, very good. What do you wear on Christmas? Excellent. Very good. Do you wear dresses, jeans, or something else? Excellent. Very good. Let me see, Marvin. What do you do in your work? Okay. What do you do when you work? I work. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. There you have it. Let's see, Milagro. Your, your question? Where do you do study English? Ah, now listen, very good. It, it's good, your sentence. Now listen, the thing is that we are not in past. We are in present. So we use do. Mm -hmm. So the past of do is this. In this case, you're asking, what, where did you study? But in this case, you want to talk in present. And if we are in present, you need to use do in present. O sea, el auxiliar en presente es do y en pasado es did. Entonces, si su pregunta se hiciera en pasado, ¿qué es? ¿Cómo se debería hacer? Utilizaríamos el did. En vez del do. Pero es, ¿dónde estudias inglés? Ah, where, ah, where do you study? Where, where do you study? Ah, okay, excellent, yes. In that case, you're right, my friend. Sorry, okay. it was my bad. Very good. Let's see, Claudia Maria. Where do you, where where do you eat do you study? this restaurant? Repeat again, sorry. What do you eat in this restaurant? Okay, excellent, very good. When you're new in some, some new restaurant, right? When you are trying to try, when you're trying to try new food. Okay, excellent, very good. Let's see, Karina Jimenez. Why does she look so happy? 
Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good. You're using one in third person singular. Very good. Let's go with Florence. Where does she work? Mm -hmm. Where does she work? Very good, thank you. Let's go with Diane. Why do you love me? Repeat again, please. What? Why? Uh -huh. Why do you love me? Ah, okay, excellent, very good. Good question. <laughs> Let's go with Jessica Elizabeth. Where do you live? Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good, very good. Let's go with somebody else. Lizette Velasco, I think you were not in here yesterday, right? In class. Were you in here? Sorry? Were you in class yesterday or, or not? Yes, yes. Oh, okay, so tell me your stand, your question, please. Uh, what do you eat on your weekends? Excellent, very really good, yeah, that's great. Let's go with Fatima Rivas. What do you think about this class? Mm -hmm. That's great. Good question. Let's see. Luis Alonso Mendoza. Um, where, where does he live? Where does she live? Excellent. Very good. Very good. Let's go with Claudia Cuellar. What does she do in her work? In her work, excellent, very good. Excellent, now listen, now that I checked in and I'm trying to remember, let me see, Florence, are you there Florence? Yes. Um, okay. Can you repeat your your question again, please? <laughs> Bye. Where does she works? Uh, there you have it. Now remember the structure. We use base verb form. in base form. You don't need to add the s to work. work. Uh -huh. It's only work. Excellent. There you have it. Okay. Very good. Uh -huh. You're welcome. Let's go with Crisia. Um, what kind of music do you like? Uh -huh, very good. Where's my auxiliary? Kai. Uh, so? Check, Crisia. <laughs> These are my auxiliaries. Do and does. Entonces, usted necesita un auxiliary in your question, okay? Mm -hmm. está muy bien. What kind of mm -hmm. music do you play? Pero what do you, uh -huh. um, other question, what do you normally do on vacation? Perfect, now you see, that's great, very good. <laughs> Let's go with Patricia. Um, where does he buy the, the food? Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good. Yeah, that one is good. Let's go with Walter. You haven't participated, right, Walter? No. Okay, tell me. Uh, why do you like shoes? Repeat again. Why do you like shoes? Oh, why do you like? Maybe we can say, why do you like those shoes or that pair of shoes? Okay, to be more specific. Okay. Like imagine you have a pair of shoes that is the favorite pair of shoes for someone, right? So you ask him, why do you like those shoes, right? Something like that, it could be okay. Excellent, Walter, thank you. Armando Antonio, your turn. Where does she roam in the morning? In the morning? Repeat again, sorry. 
Where does she room? In the oh, morning. in the morning. Yeah, it's good. That one is good. Thank you. Let me see. I have Fabiola Soriano. What does he do on vacation? On vacation. Excellent. Yes. Very good question. Elvis Abrego. Yes, teacher. Your question? How do you learn English? Ah, uh -huh, excellent. Yes, very good. That one is great. Let's go with Renevis Carra. Mm -hmm. Are you there, Rene? That's the reason why I asked you to have your camera open because sometimes I don't know if it's you, the one who's there. Let me see. Ada Gabriela. Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, what, what did you do last week? Okay, what did you do last week? Yeah, you're using past, but it's correct. You're using a Did last trip. Last what? Ah. Last trip. Ah, last trip. Okay, yeah. As I told you, it's past, but at least you're using auxiliaries. Very good. Let's go with Herson and Maya. Why does she give up uh, to her work? Excellent. Very good question. Nice. Let's see, Jenny Lee said. Where does she buy the food? Jose Rodrigo, are you there? If not, Heidi Vasquez, please. Where do you live, your mother? Where does your mother live? Okay. Excellent. Where does your mother? Uh, because we're using third person singular. You're asking about my mother or somebody else's mother, right? So it's third person singular. Okay. Let's go with Andrea Sosa. What will you do on vacation? Mm -hmm. Excellent. What do you do on vacation? Excellent. Very good. Let's see. Elsie de Carvalho. Elsie? Jocelyn Rodriguez. What do you do? Huh? What do you do? On what? Yes, teacher. Okay, only what do you do? Okay. Good. Okay. You can ask that actually, yes. What do you do? I'm a student, I'm a teacher, I'm an artist. Very good. Thank you, okay? Now I think everyone has passed. I have some of you who hasn't passed yet. And I believe that is because you're drinking coffee and you're not in class. <laughs> okay, now let's move on. Let's see. And um, this, we saw this, this was part actually from yesterday's class. And now we have something interesting, right? We have time expressions. Okay, let's see. I'm going to ask with Andrea Sosa, please. The first line completely. I get up. Andreita, are you there? If not, let's see. Karina, please. 
I get up at seven in the morning on weekdays. Excellent, very good, on weekdays. Let's see, Claudia Marina, Ma, Maria, sorry, continue. I go to bed around 10 in the evening on weeknights. Weeknights, very good, yes, you're right. Noemi, continue, please. I leave work early in the afternoon on weekends. Mm -hmm. There you have it. Thank you. Fatima Rivas, continue, please. I get home late at night on Fridays. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Marvin, continue, please. I wake up before afternoon on Sunday. Mm -hmm. On Saturdays. Okay. Sunday. Saturdays. Thank you. Let's go, Cesar, with the last one. I wake up before on Sundays. Before or afternoon. Very good. Thank you. Now, listen, everyone. You have this as a part of the platform. So I believe that if you already advanced with the platform, with the exercises from the platform, you already saw this, maybe. But today we're going to practice pronunciation and we're going to learn which are those time expressions. And we have this as a part of practice time. Let's see, expressing clock time. Now listen, this is really important. In the exercises, some of you were writing like, it was an exercise specifically, I think so, that it said that you have to write the times, but not in numbers, in letters. So that's why you need to keep an eye on this topic. So let's see, Florence, please read this chart. Seven, seven o'clock, seven a.m. equals seven in the morning. Seven p.m. equals seven in the evening. Uh -huh. Excellent, Where you, there you go. So when it says equal, it means that we have the same times, but just in, in letters, right? So we can have it in letters. So 7 a.m. It's seven in the morning. You don't need to write down a.m. if you don't want, or you can just write down seven in the morning. It's okay, either or. That was basically it from that part, but I have something extra for you guys. So we have adverbs of time. This is extra for you. So I have the adverbs of time, like these ones that are in black letters, and we have the pronunciation next to it. Okay, so that we can practice. So we have early, late, earlier, later, then, before, after, afterwards. Okay, if you look at the pronunciation, it's the same thing, right? As, the, as I am pronouncing right now. Now I'm going to ask each of you to tell me this vocabulary. Now listen, if you can right now copy this on your notebook, this is important. You can use it whenever you want to when using adverbs of time. And this is part of the time expressions. Let me know when you're finished. Ah, good. <laughs> Let me have your microphone open. Let me see. No. Uh huh. There you are. Mm -hmm. It's rain. Yeah, it's raining and it's really loudly right now. 
raining. Like raining, yeah. It's really heavy, the rain right now. Okay, have you finished? And it's good this vocabulary because you have the pronunciation next to the hour of time. Okay, so if you finished already, let's practice. Let's see, Patricia. Tell me from one to five. Early. Uh -huh. Hello, hello. Yes. Yes. Hola, hola. Eh, no sé si okay. Early. Mm -hmm. Okay, Le early, late, earlier, later. Then. Uh -huh. Excellent. There you have it, girls. Very good. Thank you. Let's see, Diane, your turn. Um, or after and. Uh huh. Me? Yeah, now it's your turn, Diane. Yeah, I remember everyone that because of the rain, sometimes the internet connection, connections are not working that well as we need them to be working. But don't worry, we're gonna make it. <laughs> Let's see, Diane, your turn. From one to five, please. The one out of five? Uh -huh, exactly, from one to five. Early, late, early, late, then. Very good. Don't forget number three is earlier. Okay. Very earlier. good. Uh -huh. okay. Earlier, earlier, earlier. There you have it. Very good. Claudia Maria, your turn. From four to eight, please. Later, then, before, after, and afterward. Excellent. Very good job. Karina, your turn. From four to eight. Later, then, before, after, afterward. Very good, there you have it. Cesar, your turn. From one to eight. Cesar. It's your turn. Uh, my uh -huh. early, late, earlier, later, then, before, after, afterward. There you have it. Excellent. Thank you. Armando Antonio, uh -huh. Armando Antonio, please, from one to eight. Early, late, earlier, late, later, then, before, after, afterward. Very good. There you have it. Now listen, everyone, we have more vocabulary, so keep an eye on this. We have other arbits of time. It's part of the same list, okay? So this is just for you to have extra information and extra vocabulary, because believe me, you're gonna use it every time in your life. So here you have it. We have now, nowadays, these days, currently, Today, tomorrow, yesterday. Okay, let's practice. Marvin, from nine to 15. Close your microphone, everyone else. If you're not participating, please. Albert Stein. Now, nowadays, these days, currently, today, tomorrow, yesterday. Okay, excellent. Very good. Noemi, your turn from 9 to 15. Your microphone, honey. I'm sorry. Now, nowadays, these days, currently, today, tomorrow, yesterday. Excellent. Very good. Repeat after me, Noemi. Currently. Currently. Uh -huh. Three times. Currently, currently, currently. 
Very good, perfectly. Now let me see, Luis Alonso, wake up from nine to 15. So now, uh, nowadays, these days, uh, currently, today, tomorrow, yesterday. Mm -hmm. There you have it, very good. Walter Vasquez, your turn to practice. Now, nowadays, these days, currently, Tuesday, tomorrow, yesterday. Excellent, thank you. Crisia Munoz, your turn, your time. Now, nowadays, these days, currently, today, tomorrow, yesterday. Very good. Repeat after me, Crisia. Currently. Currently. Three times. Currently, currently, currently. Currently. Okay, very good. Okay. Thank you. Jenny, Lisette, please. Now, now stay, this day, currently, today, tomorrow, yesterday. Very good, excellent. Raul Sarceño. Now, now stay, this day, current, currently, today, tomorrow, yesterday. Very good. Repeat after me. Nowadays. Nowadays. Mm -hmm. Three times. Nowadays. Nowadays. Yeah. Nowadays. Very good. Excellent. Now, listen, everyone. If you want, you can copy this on your notebook. Uh, oh. What number, uh -huh. teacher? Ah, Mauricio, there you are. Yes, Mauricio, you... If you want to participate in the in the pronunciation, please, from nine to fifteen. Okay. Now, now, uh, nowadays, these days, currently, today, tomorrow, yesterday. There you have. It. So, if you want, everyone, copy this on your notebook. And if not, let's move on. I need to check if somebody's copying. Teacher. Yes. Eh, me faltó uno de la From the last one. Ajá, solo el último. After. Ahorita es la respuesta. Let me know. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, excellent, everyone. So now that we have a bit of time, what if we check the positions of time? Listen. We have quite some of prepositions of time. We have pretty much a lot of them, <laughs> but these are just the generals that we have. Basically, we only have like three in here. So let's practice with these ones, okay? So let me see. Okay, there you are. Florence, please help me with the preposition at. Read the information. At. This preposition of time is used to discuss a specific time, including a set exception such as at night. Example, we have classes at 9 p.m. We have classes at, at 8 at night. There you have it. Thank you so much. Now listen, everyone. Now it's your turn to practice. Create one sentence, only one sentence using the preposition at. Remember that this preposition is used to discuss a specific time. So let's work on that. Please create your sentence. I'll be waiting here. Let me know when you're finished.
finish. Great. There you have it. Good. Finish, teacher. Great, Claudia. Finish. Finish, teacher. Excellent. Very good. Somebody else? Yes, teacher, finish. Very good, good. Okay, now let's start, let's check. Claudia Maria, please tell me yours. She has a soccer game at 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. That's great, very good, specific time. Thank you. Jessica Elizabeth? Eh, teacher, tengo mala conexión. Está lloviendo aquí. Casi no escuché lo que dijo. You have to create one sentence using prepositions of time. In the specifically, at. Eh, we have. Eh, you, eh, como el ejemplo. No, I need you to create one sentence. Take your time, don't worry. You will pass later, take your time. Create your sentence. Meanwhile, we are going to have Karina Jimenez. I go to the bed at 10 p.m. Excellent, very good. Let's see, Fatima Rivas. I take my breakfast at 7 a.m. on weekdays. Mm -hmm. That's great, very good, a specific. Marvin? I have, I have a date at 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. There you have it, very good. Let me see, Lisette Velasco. I take my shower at 5 p.m. Excellent, very good. Let me see, Patricia. I usually wake up at uh, 5 in the morning. Yes, indeed, that's great, thank you. Let's see, Diane. She has a date night at 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. That's great, very good, it's specific. What about you, Luis Antonio? Alonso, teacher. Hi, oh my God. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> one more time, once again, I'm sorry. Luis Alonso, Luis uh, Alonso, oh my uh, God. I... I get up at uh, 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. Excellent, oh. very good. I get up at 5 a.m. Yeah, that's the thing. This proposition is actually pretty easy to handle, but sometimes we get confused. This proposition with in or on, it happens. That's why we need to practice with these propositions. Let's see, Milagro, your turn. Your microphone, Milagro. Sorry, teacher. No. I, I go to bed at 9 p.m. Excellent. There you have it. Pretty easy, right? Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Uh, I have a question. Tell the, me your question. The propicion, propicion at eh, se puede usar en lugares también, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Yeah. At the bank, at the mall. Sí, a veces, okay. pero depende del contexto también. Okay? okay. Sí. Yeah, that's what I wanted to tell you guys. Sometimes, uh, for example, last time one of you was asking me, why do we use the symbol plus? Or why do we say plus instead of saying more? Right? That was a question. And the thing is that most of the things in English are going to be used depending the context. That's why you have to pay attention in which context 
we are developing, right? So keep an eye on that one. And I explained to that person that we use plus most of the most of the time to join two ideas. Okay, that's why we use plus instead of using more because you cannot use in more, you cannot use more to join ideas. Okay, that was the explanation. Now, my point in here is that sometimes many words in English they are going to change depending on the context. Okay. So we cannot stay like, no, yo lo aprendí así, así me quedo. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Many things in English are going to depend on the context. Okay. Now let's okay. continue. Let me check somebody else. Walter, tell me your your sentence, please. I go to the gym 6 a.m. At 6 a.m. Okay, excellent. There you have it. Now listen, everyone, I have another proposition of time. We have in. Andrea Sosa, please read this information. In, this proposition of time is used to discuss general time of day, except nine months, years. Example? Mm -hmm. Uh, we have classes in the morning. My graduation is done. Uh, no veo por qué sale el mensaje. Uh, I went to Mexico in um, 1989. 89. 89, exactly. Very good. So there you have it. It says that we can use it in general times for day, except nights, months, and years. Okay, now listen, you might listen to people who say, I will see you in the night, but no, according to this instruction, you have to use it for many other things, but not for night, month, or years, okay? Now, it's your time to create your sentence, okay? Practice time, create your sentence, please. Now let's start. Let's go with, let me see, with the ones that didn't participate last time. Let's see, Cesar. My daughter's birthday is in the November. Uh, let's see. What does the rule it says, Cesar? It says that we don't use it for a month. Google instruction, it says in this in this proposition of time is used to discuss general Excuse times me. of day. It says my, night, month. My daughter's birthday is is in the November. Is the norm. Now listen, now listen, check this. Uh -huh. Yeah, look at the examples. Actually, yes, you can use it for months and years. Hmm. Well, I'm confused. Uh, yeah, that's what I was trying to check because it says that you cannot use it except night, dates, and month, night, month, and years. But the examples, you can find month and years. But yes, it's, the thing is that you can use it for month and years, but I don't think you can use it for nights. Creo que sí lo pueden utilizar para month and years. No es que creo, es que sí lo pueden utilizar para month and years, pero no para night. Okay? That's the exception. Night. You cannot say, I'm going to see you in the night. No. I'm going to see you at night. That's the correct. But yes, according to these examples, you can use it in months and years. Okay? So don't worry. Let's see. We have Mauricio, your sentence. Uh, we have uh, I have to work 
I have to work uh, I have to work also in the morning also uh, at in the afternoon Okay, excellent. Very good, Marisa. Thank you. Let me check somebody else. Harrison? Um, my, my family and me go to my family and Guatemala. I. Sorry? My, my family and I. Sorry, my family and I. Go to Guatemala in car. No, sorry, in, in time, 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 time. Um, um, my family, <laughs> sorry, my family and I to went to Guatemala and uh, in uh, <laughs> uh, how do you say um, el año pasado? Last year. Last year, sorry. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Thank you. Thank you, Hers. Very good job. Let's see, Florence. My birthday is in May. Mm -hmm. Good. Excellent. Very good. Let's see. I don't have Andrea Sosa. My next travel is in the spring. Mm -hmm. Great. In, in mm -hmm. April. <laughs> April. Okay, that's great. Very good. Okay, excellent. Now, listen, everyone, the last proposition that we have is on. Okay. Now, let me move this. And there you have. We're going to have. Let me see. Armando Antonio, please. <laughs> um, read the proposition on the information. This proposition is time is used is used same, same time day of the week or proposition of day of the week, a specific day, example. Mm -hmm. We will meet on Friday. I rest on weekend. Christmas is on December 25. Mm -hmm. Exactly, there you have it. The information says that we use it to discuss certain days of the week or portions of days of the week, specific days. Okay, very good, thank you. Now, let me check. You're going to create your example and I'm going to ask some of you because I need, to, I need you to practice with the next conversation, but create your example, please. Right now, create one example using the preposition on. If you have questions, you can ask me. Have you finished? Okay, now let's start with Noemi, please. Another day is on May 10th. Excellent, very good example. Diane? We have a um, birthday uh, on Friday. On Friday? Excellent. Very good, Diane. Gracia, please. The birthday party is on Sunday. Mm -hmm, that's great. Very good. Cesar? Uh, my vacation. 
is on August. Mm -hmm. There you have it. As, as you can notice, everyone, you can use in or on to month according to the information presented, right? Let's see, Patricia, your turn. I like going to the park on Sunday. There you have it, very good. Thank you, Milagro, your sentence. Uh, Milagro, are you there? If not Elvis, Abrego, please. Yes, teacher. The last day of English class is on Thursday. Thursday, excellent, very good, excellent. Okay, now listen everyone. So I have this conversation for you to practice. As you already know, in my class, we're going to practice a lot of the pronunciation and conversation, which means speaking in general. So because of the time, due to we're missing less than one minute, we are only going to have one pair. Tomorrow, we are going to practice the other ones. And let's see, let's just start with René Vizcarra. Uh -huh. Tell me, René, do you have a question or you want to participate? Quiero participar. Ah, excellent, there you have it. Okay, so René, you're going to practice with Karina, please. So, Rene, you are Kevin and Karina Ellie. Okay. Comenzamos. Action. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. I usually come here at 10. Really? What time do you go to work? Oh, I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Whoa, that's late. When do you head home, all right? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight, that is late. What do you exactly? I'm a chef. I work at the Pink Elephant. That's my favorite restaurant. Be the way I came in. Excellent, thank you guys, very good. Hey, I have a question. Did you practice already this conversation while you were making the exercises, when you were completing the exercises? To everyone. Did you practice Yes, I, yes, I practiced. Very good, very good. That's great. Now listen everyone, I have I have something to tell you before leaving the class. And I'm going to tell this in Spanish. Por favor, practiquen en la plataforma. Ya mañana es el último día para la section two. Okay, ya me informaron English. son los que no están. <laughs> ya me informaron quiénes son los que no están practicando. Así que por favor. Practiquen. Si quieren conseguir su certificado, necesitan llenar esa plataforma y pues al mismo tiempo aprender, ¿verdad? Yo siempre estoy disponible para ustedes. Whenever you have a question, you can ask me. Questions about any exercise, just text me and I'm going to answer it, okay? If you have questions, means I don't understand something, means can you please help me in this? Just tell me if I got the time, which of course I have for you because you are my students, if I have the time, I'm going to look for the answer and I'm going to try to help you, okay? So please practice in the platform, okay? Take advantage of the platform. Tomorrow is the last day. So for tomorrow, you should have finished already section one and section two, okay? Okay, everyone, so that was it pretty much for today's class. It was a pleasure to see you and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. 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 Thank